Alrighty guys, well, I uh, started one of these chats earlier today, <laughs> and by the way, welcome back to Junk to Gems. <laughs> uh, if y'all don't know who I am, I'm Gary, and my other half is Mary, but she is not here right now. Um, I am currently up in North Carolina. Been doing a bunch of work for a good friend of ours, Daryl, and uh, we basically had to go and, you know, level all his floors up from the underside, and then... Uh, once we did that then the doors weren't right and so and uh, the other door wasn't right anyway So uh, Anyway, I meant to get this out earlier today, but I, I realized it's kind of late and probably will will be a Little little late, but that's all right. It'll happen so anyway uh, uh, What happened was we got to the door over here and the door didn't want to didn't want to close right because we now moved all the floors so um, basically they had this door, they had the trim boards right up here, you guys, and the other door, the old door was just sandwiched in there, it wasn't, it wasn't nailed off to any sides or the top or the bottom, anywhere, it was just sandwiched in there, so, um, and this is say, there's the boards that it was sandwiched in between, so they just had, they just had them sandwiched up, up between this, <laughs> I guess they thought that was going to keep it, keep it solid. Um, but it didn't so basically what I did is I we took the door out um, and it's it's the wall is leaning pretty bad uh, but you know and also the the floor is unlevel by over a half inch so just so you know Marcel right here's one a half inch out <laughs> okay out of level so the 316 ain't nothing brother you can do this man um, fill it with liquid nail Put a, uh, put a couple of shims underneath it, fill it with liquid nail. Use the plastic shims, door shims, and just stick them underneath there until you get it right. And then you can just fill it with liquid nail. And it'll work just fine for you. All right, uh, the main thing about a door, when you're setting a door, is uh, just make sure your reveal's right. So you go on the inside of the door, y'all, and you check this part of the door right along here, okay? And along the side here where it closes. And you basically want that gap between the door and the frame pretty much even all the way around, okay? It's pretty simple stuff. Um, if you've not done it before, yeah, it can be it can be a little challenging sometimes, you know? Um, but that's basically the basic is above it, you know? So, uh, here, I can even show you on this old frame right here, maybe. If I can get the light right. Um, so when your door closes, you know, your door's going to close right up in here okay so just make sure when the door hits right here that this between the end of my finger right there and then this part right here make sure that's just kind of even all the way around and basically you'll take the door the door frame and uh, you'll either go up or down here on the sides or you'll go back and forth this way to get that reveal right and you do that just by sinking screws in and then backing them out just a little bit and that way it'll give you that flex on the door in and out okay and then of course once you get that uh you get it set right then all you got to do is just put some shims in it okay and then just shim it up uh where, where it's got to be so when you uh put the screw the rest of the way in it, it just basically locks that door in place you know it doesn't allow the screw to pull it in or out too far um, I was going to video this, but unfortunately, due to time constraints, I didn't have a chance to. So, for right now, she's at least set. That opens up and closes really super smooth, as you can see here. Let me take you in here and show you. Really super smooth. Uh, that's pretty much all you got to do. But... You see this gap here, that's what I was talking about. Just try to keep that reveal, you know, somewhat the same all the way around. And, you know, like here we got a little bit, a little bit more than we got down here, but you know, that's really not, that's, that's not bad at all. That's uh, very acceptable, really. So, uh, got that got looking good there. So I want to give a little shout out to, uh, um, I don't remember the other girl's name, but um, Rachel and Sandra over here at Diamond Dave's Cafe. Diamond Dave's home, uh, 
home style breakfast place. Okay, really, really good. Um, I've been going there to eat every morning since I've been up here. And uh, they are in, uh, what's the name of this town again? Uh, Bladenboro, North Carolina. Um, it's a really, really nice little, little hole in the wall place, but country breakfast, you know, good, good eating, good, good service, you know, all the girls are real nice in there. So again, that's, uh, Diamond Dave's in Bladenboro, North Carolina. Now, uh, really good little place, y'all. Come check it out if you're ever up in this area. It's a, it's a little tiny town up here, little, little dot on the map. But pretty cool little town. Uh, I was informed today they got uh, just as many churches as they do houses, pretty much. <laughs> Which I found to be a little bit comical, but, you know, that's the South for you. Uh, when you live down here, that's just pretty much what you get used to. <laughs> um, but other than that, it's, it's been an eventful trip. Uh, I, I really enjoyed this time up here, you guys. Um, Daryl has been... Daryl and uh, and uh, Jackie have been exceptional hosts. Uh, I'm very grateful for everything. Um, I can't wait to come back. I'm going to be coming back after we get our move to Arkansas done. Um, I'm going to be coming back out here and spend another week out here with them and helping them out uh, finishing the floors on the inside and and uh, tightening up the trim around the door. We got it foamed in right now, so. Um, so at least it's not leaking all the air in and out and then uh, hopefully the deck will be done and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to fix this uh, I don't even know what you call that <laughs> that's just uh, really sad you see here guys look what they did here so they put the 2x4s on the inside here and the pickets on the outside so okay I know, I know, I know a lot of you are thinking, well, that's not that bad, okay? So, you know, they put the pickets on, but now they're on the inside of the 4x4 four four here, okay? So, look, I'll scan you all around here, and then you get up here to the top, and you go, oh, what's that? Yeah. So, you see, they tried to cut the 4x4 four four at the angle here, but then you come down here. Somebody dropped the ball. So then you come over here and then look at this. Now you see why I'm having an issue here, right? <laughs> These are inside the 4x4s. These are on the outside of the 4x4s. So all of that right there. And I mean, y'all look at that. That's why I'm having the issue with this deck. <laughs> so uh, anyway, I'm going to be fixing that one. And, uh, oh, and the other side over there, I'm sure you can probably see it from here. See that right, see if I can get a, get my finger pointed at it here for you. Right there, yeah, look at that pretty close. And you see the top is missing all the way across there. Da -da. <laughs> yeah, comedy. Comedy at its finest, y'all. And, you know, I wouldn't have such a problem with that, y'all, really. If, uh, if you just say, just, just be straight up. If you don't know, you don't know. Don't do it, you know what I mean? Or at least give them such a discount that you can, you can fix it. But don't go out charging for stuff like that. Um, this back deck is, a, is the same way. Look at here. Okay. You see this? We got three of them stacked across there. <laughs> Why? <laughs> you know what I mean? Why? <laughs> I don't get it. And I wish y'all could see this here. I wish you could see down through there. I don't know if you can see down through there or not. I'm going to try and get you at a good angle so you can see this. Nope. You're not really gonna see it, but um, if you look down through through this deck here, it basically goes it goes in and out all the way down through there, all the way down through there, all the way down. <laughs> I mean, like really. And of course, he left the four by fours up here, right? 
and no top rail. And he said, well, that's in case you want to put the roof on it. I'm only going to charge you $9,000 to do the roof on it. Well, you ain't put no roof on that. <laughs> I mean, those are, you know, a couple of feet above the top of the deck. That ain't going to happen. <laughs> oh, and then there's another one. See over there where they built the deck around the electrical box? Well, you can't open the electrical box to get into it. Hello? <laughs> there's an issue there. <laughs> so, yeah, it's uh, been comedy. Been comedy for sure. So, <laughs> and then these here. Look at the size of them bolts they put in here. Those are just regular Torx lag bolts. They're nothing special. They don't hold any more weight than anything else. If anything, they're aluminum, so they don't really hold any more weight than a deck screw. <laughs> so, anyway, well, we're also going to be coming out here, and we're going to—they've got power to this uh, this greenhouse. There's power out here, but we just got to set it up to where it'll run. Um, and get it hooked up, figure out what, what breaker has been shut off because uh, um, I guess when the people that owned it before took all their stuff out, they just cut the power and I think they took their, their panel with them. So we're going to try and work on getting them another panel hooked up out there for that. And then uh, we'll go from there. So a lot, of, a lot of cool, exciting stuff going on, guys, and coming up. As you know, we're about to make our move. Our move is coming up real, real soon. Um, we do, we are going to be buying a camper. Um, we're looking right now, and we decided that instead of, instead of coming, going out to Arkansas and buying a camper, we're just gonna buy one here in Florida, or I'm in North Carolina, but down there in Florida, we're gonna buy one there. And then, uh, you know, we're just gonna load up all the stuff that we're gonna need to live on, and then the rest of it we'll, we'll pack and store. Um, until we, you know, until we get our, our permanent place and then we'll build a storage shed for there. Um, so that's the plan. Uh, transmission, that, the cheaper transmission, still delayed. Um, the guy's telling me still another two weeks. Well, um, I don't have another two weeks to wait. So I guess I'm going to have, uh, just get one, um, from Monster and just pay him the extra, extra money and go ahead and get that one done. And, uh make this happen so that's uh that's what we got going on um i'll probably be heading back in the morning um back to florida and uh so we can help mary get everything going and and she's uh she's been keeping me uh in the dark about how much she's gotten done down there so uh she just tells me a little bit but i haven't got to see any any pictures or videos so if y'all have seen it, you got more on me than I, and then, you know, than anybody else. So, um, anyway, so just letting y'all know, uh, that's what's happening. We love y'all and, uh, stay tuned for the next one because the, the videos are fixing to get cool guys. I know they're a little bit boring right now because we're move, getting ready to move and all that stuff, but I promise you, uh, as soon as we get to be moving, Jason from White Rock, all of them going to come out and. We got a few other subscribers going to come out and help us take down the porch and and uh, it's going to be a fun cool time all right so if y'all haven't hit that like and subscribe button yet do that uh hit that little bell so that way you know you can uh the good old internet will tell you when we're going to have something cool coming out and then we can be on board right so again love y'all see y'all soon later